What is going on, everyone? Samurai Solo, and I am back with EA Sports UFC 4. Today I'm getting some fights with Anthony Lionheart Smith, and the game is officially out now. There's no more worried about the 10 hour trial thing. We got the game unlimited, so very excited for that. And we are going up against Dominic Reyes for the first fight. And yeah, I spent some time with Smith in practice mode, and he feels fairly solid. We'll see how we do against an opponent, or opponents, I should say. One thing with Smith, though, is he does have four-star. His, his rear elbow, standing elbow, is a four-star. Then in the clinch, he has four-star elbows, period. So if we get a chance to work some elbows in the clinch, you know, I'm gonna, definitely going to try to do that. Man, Reyes is so quick, even though he's so tall. This is not slow. There we go. Catch him with that right. Oh, I thought he was backing away. I thought he was going to back away there. Stood his ground, caught me with that hook. He's trying to pull us. Oh, beautiful job there. Thought he was going to step in with a jab. My right hand was out of range, and he caught me with a nice body kick. Try to hit him with a teep there. Turning to a knee. All that didn't he? Uh oh, we're on the fence. Alright, take our time. Kind of an awkward camera angle. Dang it, so what I wanted him to I'm, I was just watching for the for the him to take my back. I don't know if Reyes has that or not. Or if every fighter has it. Yeah, I knew he probably wanted to spin around in my back. I was trying to avoid that. There we go. Straight lead hook drops him. Let's go ahead and get on top here. There's a little bit of time, soften him up. Good block. Oh. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these Got that block? Nice. You know what? Let's go for it. The stamina is fairly low. It's not a ton of time left. Let's try. He might get a finish here. I think we're going to get this, guys. Getting a little desperate now. Yeah, we got this. This is it. That's a wrap. Nice. We got him. Just one denial is all we needed there, guys. And we got that guillotine. Nice. I don't even know what Smith's um, submission rating is. I think it's fairly good, though. But I don't remember the exact number. And his guillotine chokes are only one star, though. Interestingly enough. And we still got that... Yeah, that was a good fight. You know, I got rocked early or dropped or whatever it was, and then we paid him back right there. He had team choke, and that was all she wrote. Good way to start this off, guys. First fight down. Be back with another one. All right, guys. We got another fight here, and it is against the former light heavyweight champ, DC Daniel Cormier. And we're getting it on in Akumite here. I have the music turned off. I turned the music off because sometimes it's the music, not this music particularly, but the, you know, the music in the menus, it can copyright the video. But I didn't know it turned the Kumite music off though. I actually like that music. Yeah, everyone's doing that clinch into the knees. Oh, look at that. We posted that. If you time it properly, you get uh, a little sweep or something back to your feet. That was nice. 
soften him up here. I'm just spamming hooks, man. Post up. There we go, block that. Got side saddle. I was looking to keep it on the feet, but I mean, I don't mind grappling with Smith. He has a good top game. Right back down. Nice. Nice, we got the back. I don't want to waste my stamina. Let's see if he goes to the right again like last time. Not doing nothing. Let's just drop some more ground and pound. Just make sure to keep my stamina high. He does go right, but yeah, I, I didn't time it right. He waited. There we go. Block that. Nope. Block that one. Keep softening him up. Oh, oh, he quit. <laughs> he had it up. Hey, he engaged me on the ground, man. What am I supposed to do? I'm going to stay on top a little bit. Of, hey, all good to me, man. We'll, def we'll, we'll, we'll gladly take that win. It's another fight down. Keep this going. Be right back. All right, guys, we got another fight here, and it is against Volkan Ozdemir. And these two actually fought so maybe a couple of years ago, whenever it was. And uh, Smith ended up winning by Rear Naked Choke in the third or fourth round. Ozdemir was actually doing pretty good until he gassed out. I think both of them gassed out, but I think Ozdemir gassed out harder from what I remember. Continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. Landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? I think I tried for that elbow right there as he, uh, he blocked oh, as he stepped in. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. This too, he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Well, perhaps got the clinch, but I did nothing with it, didn't I? I'll try to throw an elbow from there. I should have just went for the high plumb, then through the elbow, like he's doing. <laughs> Break away. There you go. Oh, too short. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Big body keep land. Nice punch by Ustami. Back and forth we go. There we go. There we go. All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue oh. to land... Oh! Rock, he's down. Yep, slip straight. It's down again. Let's get on top, drop some ground and pound. See if we can't finish him here. Oh, he's posting. Good job, good job. Oh, I meant to quit throwing there. <laughs> kind of just hammering the button there through a couple extra strikes. Ooh, risky body kick by him there. Oh, we got him with the elbow. That's a wrap. Ooh, we got him with that four-star elbow, guys, in the clinch. Let's see if they show the replay on that one. Yeah, he already been dropped and hurt a couple of times, so... That elbow just stunned him, dropped him again, actually. Then we finished off. Let's see. Look at this replay. See this elbow. Boom. Oh. Oh. All right, guys. Going good so far with Lionheart. Going to keep this one going. Ground and pound. That is it. But I'll be right back. All right, guys. We got another fight, and it is against another Dominic Reyes player. 
No one's won in rematches so far. Um, I have no problem giving rematches. Yeah, I need to try Reyes out. Looks great. I mean, when the game first came out, I used him, but I mean, I don't even count that. I didn't even understand the game yet, the controls and all this, and now I'm still learning it. I need to try him out again. Try him out here soon. That's a big right hand from Dominic Reyes. We talk so much about his kicks. Don't sleep on those hands. Don't sleep on the hands. He put Chris Wyman out with his hands. Chris Wyman one of the greatest middleweights of all time. Because Dominic Reyes got him out of there. There we go. Bleeding from his cheek now. Put a lot of pressure on us there. Catch him a couple times. He's going for the clinch. Yeah, you can. Uh, oh, he got that one though. I tried to side lunge. I gotta get out of here. Okay, I'm trying to move now. There we go. Yeah, you can only stop one or the other when it comes to the decent punches on that spot. And he looked like he knew that. <laughs> this guy is aggressive. But we're catching him pretty decent here. Oh. He's hurt. Oh, my elbow missed. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have found the mark for Dominic Reyes. Oh. oh. Lands a nice one, too. Oh, straight right. Wow. This is so aggressive, man. He's just going to keep fighting like that, too. Oh. He got that. Yeah. Good lord. He's gonna posture up again. Oh my goodness, can't stop that. Now he pre-blocked that bad boy. You see that? That was pre-blocked like a mofo. <laughs> he pre-blocked that thing all day right there. Man, I, it's so frustrating. Like, I know all he's going to do is posture up right there. That's all I'm watching for. And I'm reacting like, again, I'm reacting on time I feel. But, I mean, obviously not. It's not laggy or nothing because, like I said, you can see the lag. Man. I still think we won that round because we uh, rocked him twice. Although he did some big damage to us. He did some big damage to us on the ground and pound. I do need to be careful. He's going to go back to that, I promise you. He's gonna, he saw that work and he's going to try to take me down again and just do the same thing. I was holding up, man. See that? Take that animation. That means when you hold up or down on the left stick when you're not supposed to. Only when they're driving you do that. And uh, I was actually just accidentally doing it. Frustrating. That's my fault. Yep. Promise you he was pre-blocking pre the other way. That's why I did that. Just like in the first round. We got him this time. Now we're on top. Now let's uh, give him a taste of his own medicine here. Like, I'm kind of tempted to just try to stand up, but I'm not going to because he's just going to try to go for another takedown. Let's just stay on top all we can here and do so, do our own damage. Making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded pounded in the mat 
or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's not trying to post either. He keeps moving his head even though I'm throwing nothing but hooks. Here yeah, Mount is a lot harder to hard, a lot hard. Uh, I can't speak today. A lot harder to hold in this game. You sit back on that leg. You press down into your opponent. You drop elbows. You drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard. I thought they were gonna give it to him at first. I was like, there's no way he got that good block by him. He pre-blocked that. Going and pass. Off his back, DC. Now looks like he's Let's go for it. Escape. Although my stamina is fairly low here. Yeah, it's not looking too good for me here. Yeah, he's gonna get out pretty easily. That's fine. We're still gonna be out. We should still be on top. Um, yeah, there we go. My stamina refilled a little bit. Man, he's been controlled nearly this entire round. Oh, he got that. Hold on. Can't believe I let him get that. He should be okay. Did we get the counter? We got the counter, I think, guys. Yeah. Now we're going to go for the Von Flu choke on him. And even if we don't get it, we're out of this submission and we're in side control. So. That bell's going to ring anyway. But that was our round all the way. Let's see what he, let's see what he tries to do here in this third round. I need to not give up a takedown. I don't want to, I want to keep it on the feet, actually. I mean, we just controlled him that entire second round. We once uh, he got the takedown on us, but once we reversed him, so yeah, it should be us up 2-0. You know, we rocked him twice in the first round, and then just like dropped some very nice ground and pound in this round. So should definitely be ours. Dominic Ray is still he's dangerous, so we do need to be careful. There we go, switch straight lead hook. Didn't do as much damage as, as I thought it would. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may flow to right hand. Man, spinning back fist, nothing. On the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land. Went a little crazy. I, I saw him try to clinch out in my try for it again. He's got to know he's losing, man. We're landing some nice strikes on him. Man, where is that rock? Landing a lot of strikes, not even two minutes in. Look at that. Hook, hook. I'm watching for that takedown, how I feel it's coming. Oh, was not trying to take him down. But he uh, maybe he does have to go for a takedown because he knows he prob probably needs a knockout. Oh, got him with my elbow. Man, he's really just taking some damage. No, stop it. Okay, good. We stopped it. Doesn't a break away. He's gonna break up, break out. Didn't mean to throw that, but that's fine. That's my fault. Come on, where's that rock? Overhand, nothing. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, nice jab. Doing a nice 
Oh my goodness. I landed that back fist. Oh my, I'm looking at that and murder me right there. I landed my back fist, but he got the punch on me and the vulnerability gave him the rock. Everything I've been landing on him in this round, he got the rock on me on one vulnerability strike. Yeah, guys, I like Anthony Smith, man. He feels really good. Uh, I like the way he feels in this game. Can't believe I let him get that again, but it's not a big deal. Bell's going to ring anyway. All right, this was a good fight. Should be... If you're if you're looking to give him a round, it would be this just based off the rock because of the damage. But without that rock, I mean, we easily won this round too. I mean, we were piecing him up very good. Just the game did not want to give me a rock. Mainly because I didn't catch him in any vulnerability states. Most of my strikes just, just caught him. He caught me in one vulnerability state, and that was enough to rock me. And even though my back fits landed still, too. Let's see. 29-27, all three judges. Got it, guys. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop right here, though. I do appreciate you guys watching. I will catch you all next time. Have a great day. Stay safe. Take care. Peace. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he 